let us now look at how to find displacement in physics now if we have knowledge about initial and final position of the object then displacement of the object is given by the formula delta x is equals to xf minus xi where this xf is the final position xi is the initial position and delta x is change in position of the object now this formula gives displacement of the object moving in a straight line next we will look at resultant displacement formula resultant displacement formula is used when distance from point of reference is used to specify initial and final position of object despite the fact that distance and displacement are not the same thing displacement problems will tell you how many foot or meters an object has traveled problems would also mention along which direction north east south or west or object is traveling now the resultant displacement formula is given by relation d is equals to under root x square plus y square where d is displacement x is the object's initial direction of motion and y is the second direction in which the object is moving now if your object can only move in one direction then y is equals to 0 this formula also gives an equation that shows how to find displacement without using time in physics